All right, who else we got here? Drekna, obviously that was my main, but uh, we'll do him last. Death, should we do him next? I will just breathe over these. So, Rumtum, this is my Beast Lord. I made him, obviously, when Lucilin came out. He was originally named Sabretooth, but when the servers merged, um, I had to rename him because obviously Sabretooth was probably taken from whatever server we merged in. So I got a name change and yeah, he's Rumtum Tugger. I don't know how many of you are going to get that reference, but uh, anyway. So yeah, that's my Beast Lord. I probably won't show him. He's pretty, probably pretty similar to my monk. I, this gear would either be Defias or Black Panther skin. Because essentially what a Beast Lord is, it's half monk, half shaman. So we'll move on from him. Um... Wobbit, this is my brother's cleric. We both played him, but uh, yeah, I mean, nothing too special. I, I really do enjoy playing the cleric, and that's the reason I made the cleric on P99. This shield, this is a, what is this shield? It's like some sort of Lucilin shield. I just love the look of it. It's massive. There's probably heaps of stuff that's like as flamboyant as this on live now, but back then this was a, it's tradable. I didn't get the drop, I would have bought it. Uh, and like his armor is probably all died. It's probably all mismatched stuff. Um, I want to log on to this character though. This character, I decided one day I want to play a warrior. But like I said earlier, when I want to play something, I'm like, I want to gear it out. Anyway, so Vassaroth, this is another character that me and my brother kind of shared. He's very old on this account. Like he was one of the original characters from, from 2001 or whatever. And we kind of leveled him together on and off. Um, but then, yeah, like I was saying, one day, this was uh, pff, Gates of Discord, Omens of War, I don't know what expansion. I found a way to make heaps of money. And I was like, man, I want to give this character out and play him. So I'll show you what some of the shit I bought was. And then I, obviously, I didn't really play him that much considering he's only level 50, whatever. So where am I? So this is Vastaroth the German. Yeah, like I said, this is a character that me and my brother both messed around in and then after he'd stopped playing, long after he'd stopped playing, I kind of decided I want to be, give him a whole bunch of gear and play him. And then I'd probably, I dropped stupid amounts of money into him and then basically played him fuck all. Where am I? I'm in the bazaar at the moment, which is not the original bazaar. It's this new weird one they made. I, I wish they, you could go to the original one, but you can't. I might have to play to Project 2002 if I ever want to see that again. But let's go to Planet Knowledge to do this because... I'm not a huge fan of this zone. He's been a bit stripped. He's got no earring and no rings and no belt. So the good thing about at one point this game brought in shared banks. So you didn't have to rely on character transfers after a certain point. And what that meant for people who had, who were altaholics like myself, who had heaps of characters they liked to mess around on. What you could do with items that weren't, were tradable at least. You go in here to the shared bank, there's a bunch of shit in there, I don't even know what this stuff is, but yeah, if you had, say, like my monk and my beast lord, obviously I can't have them both logged in at the same time, so I would just cruise and I'd be like, okay, I want to play my beast lord, so I'd jump onto my monk, drop all the relevant gear into these four things, and then jump onto my beast lord, go loot them, go take them out and equip them, and it's like, share essentially sharing gear, so that's probably why I'm missing an earring and missing rings and whatnot, but let's have a look at what he's got. Fabled Shrunken Goblin Skull Earring. I remember actually going and getting this and looting it. Do I not have spell effects on? That should be huge. What's going on there? Spell effects. Huh. I don't know why that's not working. You guys seen that's that's I mean that's a classic item. So if I should again I should explain Fabled for anyone that doesn't know. After a while. They decided on the anniversary of EverQuest each year, they would go back and get some classic items and make fabled versions of them. And essentially what a fabled version was, you get like, so this drops off Gratchness the Destroyer. And so on during the anniversary event of whatever year that was, a, f a fabled version of Gratchness the Destroyer would spawn and he would be called fabled such and such anyway. And he would drop the fabled item that he used to drop. But uh, yeah, I went and killed him. And I got the fabled Shrunken Goblin Skull Earring, which still has the clicky uh, Aura of Rage. I think that's probably a bit different to what it is on Classic. 
I think it was it's Grim Aura on Classic, maybe. Can't remember. It's not what anyone uses it for. They always use it. Casters use it to refresh spells, but it's another story. But on Classic, it doesn't have these stats, I'm pretty sure. Could be I don't, I'm pretty sure it's just the clicky, right? I don't know. I can't remember. But it definitely it's not 4 strength, 4 stam. Well, <laughs> 4 strength, 6 stam, 4 agility, 5 decks with hit points and mana. It's, that's not... That's not classic. What else have I got? Cobalt Breastplate. That's uh, that's a classic item. Yeah, man. I have the right clicky heal. This shit's worth huge amounts of money on, on classic. What's it drop off? Tracking on? Is that tracking on? Why? I don't know why spell effects are being funny. Man, that's a long heal. What is that? Like 30 se 15 seconds. Look at that. 15 seconds for like 115 point heal. Yeah, man. Fierce Heraldic Boots, Legs, and Gloves. These were player crafted in the Planes of Power era, I believe. And the stats on them uh, definitely seem to be catered to tanks. I would have bought all of these. What I really wanted to show is this. This is what I dropped the most money on. This is this drops off Avatar of War. So you can get this in on P99 at the moment. This is a sick weapon, but I don't think they... They didn't introduce this proc for a while. So I think on P99... I don't know if it will ever get introduced. It might be past the timeline that that server is going to go on. But essentially this became, for a while, like just the uber tank weapon because it procs Enraging Blow, which increases... It's like it just procs Massive Taunt. Um, and look at the stats. I mean, 15 Strength Stam Dex, and it's 15 damage, 20 delay. It's got 100 hit points. So I'm just fucking awesome, man. So yeah, that's, I was like, I want to play a warrior. What's, what's the best thing I can go and buy to dump on a warrior to make it amazing? And it was a blade of carnage. I probably spent like 500k on this thing. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it was 500k. Like I said, I, some expansion had come out and I'd, I'd found a good way to make money. And instead of being smart and actually spending that money on my main character to in, improve him, I decided to dump it all into alts. Which is, when I was young, I, I was like that. I, like, I just wanted to have everything and play everything. So I did dumb shit like that. What is this? Split Blade of Destruction. I always remember wanting one of these just because they looked cool. I just think it looks awesome. But yeah, I bought this as well. But yeah, this is Bow, Short Bow, the Fighter. Just more random stats. I mean, that's one thing, you know, I'd love to play a Ranger in P99. But I feel like rangers, like, I, I want to use the bow, right? Because, you know, ranger, you got to shoot arrows and shit. That's cool. And you can do that, and it would be fun on P99. But, you know, after a certain point in live, they really kind of made that viable. Like, you get AAs and you could just do cool shit. I did have a ranger at one point on live, and I had a lot of fun with it. But very, very different game to what it is on Classic. Let's see, played... Vassaroth birthday, July 31, 2001. So this would have been... This is one of the original characters, man. Like, my brother... My, I think my brother must have made him. 2001. Well, that's when we got the game. 2001. He, this guy would have gone through high keep. Journeyman's boots. Does he have J boots? I didn't even go through his bags. I forget. Let's... Yeah, let's have a look. That's... I remember... I came back at one point and I was flogging... I was going down into Howling Stones and getting Erudite masks and selling them for... Massive money, because the, the live players at the time probably didn't know what they were from. Anyway. Uh, yeah, he's got J-Boots. Look at that. Cool. Cobalt Braces. These these are... If I was ever going to play a warrior, got to have... If you're an ogre or a troll, got to have Cobalt Braces. One thing that sucks about... And again, what's with the spell effects disappearing? One thing that's that's I think is a cool change from classic to now... You can shrink anywhere on live. In P99, you can, and, and in Classic, you can only shrink in dungeons or in indoor zones. So, no shrinky shrink outside, which makes me sad. But man, like, uh, could you imagine trying to play a warrior in like Soul A or Soul B or even inside the Fallen? It's just like, nah, man. You just block all the doors and just trying to move around. It's, fuck that. It's horrible. Gotta have shrink. Fabled Executioner's Axe. Magic. No trade. I must have gone and got it. I don't remember it. I don't remember going down into Lower Guck and killing the Executioner on this character. But I guess I did. Let's have a look. 
61 damage, 50 delay. Seems big. Haste. I mean, Prox's haste. I mean, this is it's essentially the same item as it was in Classic, but just with better stats. These are from... Um, they have a damage shield, yeah? These are from Skyfire? Are they? Are they Classic? Kunark? I'm not sure. Let's put this back on. Turtle shell boots. Yep, Lotus Elf shell boots. So these must be clear. Like, Lodi is obviously... Yeah, turtle skin. These must be in... In P99. I don't know, I don't really pay attention to this sort of stuff because, you know, my monk can't use any of it, so. Fisherman's Companion, I did this on all my characters. It's a quest, it's like beer and fishing. You right click this and you can summon a fishing, a box. I think it has like beer and. Yeah, summon. Uh, yeah, here we go. You, that's it. So you summon the fishing pole, which then you can summon beer with that fishing pole. Uh, that's so cool. I can't remember where, but it was a fairly easy quest if I can, if I remember correctly. And um, I'm pretty sure I did it on, on most of my characters. Soapots. Why do I have soapots? Who knows? Rock and soapots, got a bunch of shit. Vendor trash. Bunch of bloody summoned food and shit. I don't know, why do I have this stuff? Cheese, iron ration, tome of evasive discipline, handmade backpack, Inside a handmade that's not classic. Why what? Why? Okay, that just blew my mind. Got another mantle of stealth, same thing I had on my monk. Love illusions. Always loved illusions. But yeah, you could you could get illusion pots. Oh, I'm drunk. <laughs> uh two ales and you shit faced, buddy. The alcohol tolerance. What is a hundred? Jesus, look at that. Man, good time. So yeah, I, I used to carry around because I should I pop one? Just I mean See, what does Vassaroth the Troll look like? I don't mind the Troll and Ogre models of Classic, but I can't stand them from behind. And I really do like the Troll, how they look with the, the Lucilin models. I think that looks really cool. Still drunk. They kind of run weird. They kind of hunch on one side. God, that's really annoying that, that uh, I just stopped running. The reason all this this armor like it's it's all mismatched, but it's the same kind. Of, there's dye, so they're the actual colors of what it's supposed to be, but these are what this is the colors I've got it dyed to. But yeah, so that's uh, that's me warrior. It's all Vassaroff, the German. Let's have a look at what else we got. We'll do Death next, because he is this is the original. All right. Jeez, look at that. Start out on the horse with the mercenary. All right, I need to figure out what I'm doing here real quick. So, why am I in Warsless Woods? I remember what I was doing. This is again, this is when I started making videos and it was around the time I was doing the retrospective. On my, this is when I first kind of got back into EverQuest. And the story of that, funnily enough, I was on a road trip with my brother We'd driven back to our hometown for Christmas to visit our family. And it's about a 15 hour drive. And we got to talking about EverQuest. Um, and that's kind of what, like before that, I had not even thought about EverQuest in probably, you know, close to 10 years. So um, I was like, man, I like making videos. And there probably aren't many videos about EverQuest, so I'll make a video and that's how I came to do the EverQuest retrospective and obviously I started out by jumping on on here and I was like this is not like how at all how I want to show how it was because you know obviously live is different to classic and that's what led me to find Project 99 and here we are today all, all probably thanks to to me running around on this character anyway let's have a look at what we got so I'm pretty sure, also I don't want to be here, I think there's a way I can, I get a free, I can have an AA gate, origin, is there a button here, here we go, this, this should send me to Quinos, North Quinos, right, yeah, alright, we're in Quinos, the old hometown, the old faithful, the place that started it all, 
So this character, like I said, this is the first ever character that was created on this account. This is my brother's paladin. We'll have a, we'll jump out the front and we'll just quickly have a look. All right, so this is death and his plate. So this is, this is it. This is death's birthday, Wednesday, April 11th, 2001. So my brother must've got this game. He, I guess he got it right around his birthday. He didn't get it for his birthday. He bought it himself, but that, that date is very close to his birthday. Anyway, time playing death, 27 days, 10 hours and 21 minutes. Entitled time on this account is approximately 13 years, 208 days. So yeah, man, like, um, let's have a look. I think, so like I was saying, I came back and I wanted to make a video about EverQuest. And I don't know, for some reason I didn't want to, I wanted to leave my bard how he was. And my brother quit playing EverQuest a long time before I did. Like long, like years. Um, so I saw his character and I was like, well... It was all in, you know, the last time that thing had been played would probably have been when, when Planes of Power was the current expansion. So I was like, I'll jump on that. I think I got him the rest of the way to 60. I don't think he was 60. I think he was like 50 something. But yeah, so all this gear here, this is all that defiant gear that I was telling you about. And this is for probably like the 60 level range. I think it should say level required. Yeah, required. Required level 59, recommended level 70. So he's rocking mostly Defiant stuff. Does he have any old school gear at all? Nope. Nope. This is a Defiant sword. Dragon Tooth Choker, that's old school. Pretty sure that's a Velios item, isn't it? So that, that would have been like from his character, from he would have gotten that back in the day. No, that's not classic. Nope, not classic. Hmm, this, these stats lead me to believe that this is definitely not in a recommended level, but if it has, if ever says recommended, it's definitely not classic. Anyway, so yeah, this is, uh, I, I jumped on him and I was like, I'll level him up a bit. I always wanted, I knew that in, uh, Pallies get an alternate advancement point to summon a, a horse, the Holy Steed. And back when horses were new, you could buy shitty horses that were slow for they were still expensive for me at least, but they, they comparatively to the horses that actually moved fast, they were cheap. And the horses that moved fast, if I remember correctly, were really, really expensive. But the reason most people bought horses were casters got them because when you were sitting on a horse, you were technically meditating, but you weren't considered sitting down. So you wouldn't have that sit aggro that you get. So Horses and Droll Vargs and all these other mounts that they later introduced became popular with casters just for that purpose because you could cast on them and you were like basically metting the whole time you're on them. But the very fast ones, they cost heaps and Paladins and Shadow Knights got them essentially for free with a AA. And that's somewhere here I should have it on a hot bar, maybe Holy Steed. So yeah, I, I decided I wanted to get him to 60 and I wanted to get him this has changed. What is this? Just summon an item. This is new. You used to just click it and you'd mount. I'm pretty sure it used to be instant too. But this has just summoned me like a an item. The model, they changed the models for the horse as well. It used to not be like this. I hate, this model seems like it's unfinished. Like it's not textured at all. It's weird. It's so strange. But yeah, this is the holy state. Obviously, oh man, look at that. Ugh. That animation is so bad. And look at the bouncing. Some mounts were worse than others. I remember people specifically didn't like the horses and they would take the droll bargs over them because they didn't have this up and down. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, I don't know if there's a way to turn it off, but that's disgusting. This animation is disgusting. This model is pretty bad. It's not, the model's not bad, I suppose. It's the bloody, it's like not textured. Anyway, so yeah, I jumped on him, got him to 60. And I was like, this is just, this is not classic. And so, yeah, that's uh, what led me to um, play P99. There was one other thing. Oh, guild. I'm pretty sure uh, if it's still there, what is the button for guild? Dude, this guild, this is a classic guild. So here's a few things. 
We started off on a server called Torvonilus, and I wonder if I do title. Yeah, he's still got it. Here we go. So you can get titles and suffixes and whatnot. 60. I always wanted to be called Sir as well, because you get that at Paladins, get that at 60 with a certain amount of AAs or something. Can't remember the specifics. So Torvonilus, suffix, server, change suffix. Yes. This server doesn't exist anymore. No one's ever fucking heard of it anymore. Anytime I ever bring it up, no one knows what I'm talking about. We started on Torvonilus. Torvonilus then got merged into... Oh, I can't remember. Fennin and Row? Yeah, Fennin and Row, maybe? And then that server got merged into Kazakh Thule. So basically that server's been merged. It's been kind of amalgamated into a whole bunch of other servers over the years. And my bard, for some reason, does not have the Torvonilus tag. Only my Berserker and this character have it. But this guild, check out this guild, man. Silence of the Dead. This was a Torvonilus guild from, like, Velios days. Look at these characters. Like, it still exists. I bet no one ever plays it. I doubt. Can you see who's online and who's offline? I'm not familiar with this UI very well. Here, look. Last on. Holy shit, there's people... Fucking people online in this guild. That's unbelievable. That's actually unbelievable. Well, we got a level 110 druid and another 110 druid and me, 60 paladin. Here, let's look, let's look at some of the dates of who last logged on. 2005. It's mind boggling. This is like, it's like a time machine, man. So that's what? February 2005. Look at this stuff. This is crazy. That's, that's, uh, this guy's Pergus's alt. I don't, see, again, this is my brother's character and he had all his characters in this guild. So I don't really know any of these names or anything, but, um, yeah, look at that. Why are they all 2005? Are these, are there multiple pages? Yeah, there must be multiple, there's multiple fucking pages. Jesus Christ. It's one... What is this? Members. One at 100. Of two, it says 297 people still in this guild. Jeez. Is it still active? Last online. If we toggle. So we've got this many people playing in the last two years. What am I? I'm just a member. This guy's the leader. Jeez. I wonder, I, I wonder if I talk to him. Surely he wouldn't be an original player. Like, I wonder if he's, um, like, a, he's picked up leadership since 2005 or whatever, you know. Honestly, I'm pretty sure some of our other characters are in here. Uh, so maybe Wobbit is in here. W. All right, let's have a look. Yeah, Wobbit here. What's the last time I logged him on was 2013. So that was around the time that I was making the retrospective. So... Yeah, I looked on him. Flies Are Us should be another one that says Shammy. Yeah, there we go. Flies Are Us. I logged on him last year. I must have been messing around for some reason. Get to him later. That was, that was essentially my brother's main. He, he gave up on, on this character and went to a Shammy. Uh, I think they're the only two. Man, I cannot believe this guild exists. Should I talk to that guy? Probably not right now. It'll, it'll probably get into a conversation and not while I'm recording. It'll take ages. But, oh man, that's a blast from the past, this character. Death. His surname was Bar Brawler. I, I must, it must have, I don't know, it got, it's not there anymore. So you got Goo Covered Knight's Blade. This is a Defiant Shield. What does that look like? And what's this thing? Crud Filth Covered Machete. I remember specifically getting him the Kugu covered knight's blade. Like I bought it for him. That's pretty cool. Mace of the Fallen Crusader. Yeah, it's a pally shadow knight, not just a pally weapon. Cool stuff, man. I wonder if I should one day maybe I'll do do his epic. Surely that wouldn't be hard with mercenaries and whatnot. It's crazy. Who? Oh. Silence of the Dead. Unbelievable. So that, yeah, that's death. That's 
the first ever character that, I mean, I didn't make him, my brother made him, but that's uh, the first ever character created on my EverQuest account. And he started right here. <laughs>